MagSafe charging was introduced to iPhone 12 in 2020. The technology combined a Qi wireless charging coil with a proprietary magnet array. This allowed users to quickly attach their phone to a wireless charger without worrying about alignment issues. You may have noticed that while MagSafe is a little more convenient than a lightning cable, it does take longer to charge, and the reason has to do with the downsides to wireless charging technology, like what happens with warm ambient temperatures. At first glance, you might expect Lightning and MagSafe to charge an iPhone at the same rate if you're powering each of them with a 20 watt adapter, but iPhone's wireless charging is limited to 15 watts. And once it inevitably begins overheating, this speed will be lowered to 7.5 watts. In some tests, this power reduction happened just a few minutes after the MagSafe charger was connected, resulting in a very low rate of charging right off the bat. Compare that with the lightning cable, which doesn't generate nearly as much heat and can sustain a 20 watt charge for 30 minutes if starting from 0%. That means your iPhone can go from empty to 50% battery in just half an hour. With MagSafe, that would take at least 60 minutes. But what's even worse is going from 50 to 100%. During this time, both Lightning and MagSafe's charging speeds begin to taper off. Although it takes just an hour for the Lightning cable to achieve 100%, while MagSafe would take two hours or more depending on ambient temperature. In fact, if the iPhone gets too hot, MagSafe may not even charge past 80% to prevent battery damage. And that's why on the MagSafe cable sales page, Apple says it's capable of charging up to 15 watts, because in reality, there are so many barriers to wireless chargers safely achieving that speed. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.